Hi, I'm Tadashi Kadowaki from Denso. I will talk about Hamiltonian path cycle problems on hybrid solvers. In this talk, I will first evaluate advantage and other solvers. Then I will explain Hamiltonian path cycle problems. After that, I will evaluate hybrid solvers with random directed acyclic graph and genome variant graph. Finally, I will summarize my presentation. First, we will evaluate advantage and other solvers because those solvers are used in hybrid solvers and they affect the accuracy of the hybrid solvers. We use directed Sherrington Kirkpatrick model with 60 spins. The bond strength is generated from a normal distribution without system size correction. The concentration of bonds are tested from 0.05 to 1.0. The chain strengths are set from 0.5 to 10. We generate 10 instances for each and conduct annealing 10, 100 times for simulated annealing and 1000 for D wave. The performance indexes we test are energy and chain breaks. The result of the energy. In the left side graphs, energies of 2000 Q and advantage versus simulated annealing are plotted. In this system size, simulated annealing seems to reach the ground state. Of course, it takes longer time to obtain result from simulated annealing. To get lower energy solution, we need to set the chain strength to 10 for 2000 Q, but we can reduce the chain strings from 10 to 5 for advantage. In the right thread graph, we can see advantage keeps always lower energy solutions. The result of the chain breaks. In the left side graph, we see advantage keeps lower ratio of chain breaks for all conditions. In the right side graph, the ratio is reduced about 50% for low ratio region. These results support advantage improve the performance and it's worth to use advantage in the hybrid server. Next, I will talk about Hamilton and past cycle problems we solve hereafter. A Hamiltonian cycle is a cycle consists of all nodes. This is one of the famous NP problems. In the given graph, in the upper left side, we have a Hamiltonian cycle. If we give start and end points, on this graph, we have a Hamiltonian path. But this is not always true. For example, in this graph, we don't have a path. If we choose the green path, we lose a node in Cyan and vice versa. We can also think about directed graphs. and define Hamiltonian cycle and pass on this. The directed Hamiltonian pass is a general representation among them, so that we consider this graph hereafter. How we can solve these problems with Ising solvers? There are two possible formulations. One is a conventional formulation used in the traveling salesman problem. The distance between nodes are defined. 
as this. We need 8 by 8 equals 64 qubits to formulate. We have city and time constraint. The other formulation is edge formulation. In this formulation, we assign edges as variables. We only have constraint terms regarding in edges and out edges. Pros and cons of the formulations. In node formulation, all ground states are feasible solutions, while in edge formulation, some are not feasible solutions. In edge formulation, we have a good reduction on the number of variables and constraints. For example, we can reduce 64 to 12 variables as well as 8 to less than 3 variables in constraints. Let's move to the evaluation of the hybrid solvers with random directed acyclic graph. We tested graphs of from 100 to 5,000 nodes with various number of edges. We generate 10 random instances and repeat three times for each to average. In the annealing, we conduct one and 1,000 simulated annealing runs to obtain the lowest energy solution, while we call hybrid solver once to obtain the solution. The performance indices are number of violations and number of paths. In this graph, we set outer paths is a ground state so that we can visually evaluate the performance. This two-path solution is not a ground state, so that number of paths can be an uh, index. This is the result of 100 nodes with 1,000 edges and 2,000 edges. As you see, the hybrid Version 2 shows clear improvements. We also see much launch related annealing improves the performance. Number of violations in total and per node are plotted in the left side. In the per node plot, we see violation depends on the number of edges per node. The hybrid version one results are generally higher violations compared to the hybrid version two, and it seems saturated over 20. In the right side, the graph shows number of paths, almost all cases, Hybrid version two gives one pass solutions. Towards solving the real problem, we tried the genome variant graph. This is a part of COVID-19 project. I joined Biohackathon and got some ideas to use hybrid solver. What is a genome variant graph? Genome variant is defined from the differences among genomes. We can represent the relationships among the genomes by the variant graph. Even the variant is so complicated. The problem we tried is a topological sort of the genome variant graph. This is a typical process of multiple 
genome analysis, the actual genome variant graph is complicated, but a genome is a sequence so that we want to arrange it in one dimension. This is topological sort. Topological sort can be used for visualization and further sequence analysis. In this slide, I will explain how we utilize Hamiltonian path problem. We assume that a better topological sort of the genome variant graph can be done by finding a reference backbone. This is a backbone. The reference backbone can be found by this cost function. There are three additional terms. A, relax constraints to allow a node with no edge. Elongation in and out edges. Evidence from other sources. We use genome sequence from human genome region encoding HLA DRB1 gene, which is an immune related gene. A combination of additional terms defines a specific algorithm. We have eight variations of algorithms Schmidt annealing, table search, and hybrid servers are used with. 20 repeats. The performance index in this analysis is the size of paths as we want to cover the whole graph with a minimum number of paths. The result of different solvers. If we have a single big path covering whole variant graph, we will have a vertical line at x equal one. In general, the evidence term does not affect significantly. In taboo, relaxed term also does not affect. The result from for different algorithms the combination of the two terms, elongation in and out edges and evidences seems to be the best algorithm. The hybrid version two solver shows a robust performance in the four plots on the right side. Finally, I will touch on how the modified Hamiltonian path program can help the topological sort of the variant graph. In the last slide, we identified long paths of the graph. The paths are colored in this figure. As the genome sequence is one dimension, topological sort could be done first within a path very simply, then connecting neighboring paths. Most difficult part of the variant graph analysis is that how to deal with a complex structure located in the center. Our algorithm can answer this problem. There are three possible routes. and the algorithm answer one of them. Actually, this answer is correct. Summary, we evaluate the accuracy of solutions obtained by advantage and confirm improvements of accuracy and chain breaks. Then we evaluate the new hybrid solver with a Hamiltonian path problem in the edge formulation. We find better solution than Schmidt-Tanilin and hybrid 
solver version one. While the formulation consists of unfeasible solutions, we find the feasible solution in most cases. As a part of COVID-19 project, we apply modified Hamiltonian path problem to topological sort of the genome variant graph. The modified problem efficiently finds a backbone path, which can be utilized for future further topological sort tasks. The new hybrid solver shows robust performance among variations of the modified problems. Exploring another application of this method is the future work. Acknowledgement in the biohackathon, they discuss with me and give some ideas how to use it DWEB in the genome analysis. That's it. Thank you.